know who we can do this for. And so brothers and sisters, we spoke to our young sister, Sister Yolanda, and um, you know, this sister gave us hope, man, that the next generation is there. Sister, you, you know, sister, we got nothing but love for this sister. But on top of that, brothers and sisters, today we deal with education. Today we deal with education. And on the hidden truth, we don't play with this. I'm gonna let you know now, brothers and sisters, there's a beautiful school, a beautiful school in Hackney. We're dealing with Hackney right now. Sister Yolanda came out of Hackney. Um, Schoolgirl Q came out of Hackney. But in Hackney right now, brothers and sisters, there's a beautiful school flourishing. And I've, I've had the pleasure of working at this school several times, work with the young people, doing some motivational and identity work. And brothers and sisters, I was amazed and blazed when I first got to this school. And I was so inspired because look at these children. You can see that they're spiritual. They're feeling. <coughs> they're feeling in this school. But look at the head teacher. Oh, my God. That is the head teacher of the school. Brother Gregory Logan. Oh, my. when I saw a Rustam man come out proud, proud like, I said, what? No, I could not see brothers and what happens when we, we take charge. This brother is no small head teacher. He, I, I was watching him on the BBC, representing, representing. Come on, man. The brother doesn't play. Rustam man. Oh, my God. You know what? Lick shot from Babylon, Rasta. All right. And guess what? This brother is a personal friend of mine, brothers and sisters. And um, brother Greg, are you with us, brother? If you could turn on your video, unmute yourself. Brother Gregory Logan, are you there? Jeez, the brother's out in the sun. How you doing? My friend, ill, ill, ill. In the blessed name of the Almighty, Ja Rasta right. Blessed greet, my brother. I am here indeed, mystically and spiritually, a slightly different vibration. Um, today I was taking part in a, in, a, in a shoot, in a film shoot. So I was doing something different and learning, which is lifelong, we're lifelong learners. So I'm here doing Come something on. different. You know what, I wouldn't miss your show for the world, Andrew, because you've given me nothing but love over the years. If I can give you back a little bit, just a little bit, brother. That's what I'm doing here today, my brother. That's what no, I'm doing here today. Not... Pick up your laptop well, earlier you know on. What? Yes. Um, oh, and big up the you just spoke so much around the research around Egypt, Egyptology, which for me yes. is a, a man now approaching middle age. I really encourage the youngsters to really get that. Because for me, we studied those things so long ago, I need to go back oh. and relearn some of those things. We've forgotten them, especially as we enter the month of Marcus Garvey. And we talk about education, Marcus Garvey. I really encourage ones and ones, the younger ones who have not had the opportunity yet to pick up two books. One is called The Philosophy and Opinions of Marcus Garvey. The other is called The Life and Lessons of Marcus Garvey. So if you're going to talk about education on a platform like this, I have to promote those two books. And how to name Marcus Garvey. And just before Jeez. I hand back to Brother Andrew, because... The onus is on us, my brothers and sisters, to emancipate ourselves. Emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. Don't wait on nobody to educate you. And I said, well, and you know, I want to pause. I'm going to pause. You know when I get started. No, 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 brother. Carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Because we cannot wait. I was speaking to Andrew and we, we linked up recently at the, at the Summer Wells Camp. And one of the phrases that I spoke about was investing in our own children's education. Hence why, because some people are discussing whether it was too much for the children to attend Summer Wells Camp. And actually you're investing in your child's future. And what I'll say with the greatest respect in the world, and I say this as a serving head teacher in a state maintained school, state education is arguably a minimum standard of education. And we need to supplement that education at home, whether we're doing reading and discussing with our children, whether we send our children off to supplementary schools on a Saturday in the week. I mean, we know that Brother Andrew does some great work with West Side and East Side Young Leaders Academy. Uh, we need to be growing leaders. And as I said to Andrew recently as well, we say all kinds of things to our children, some of which they may or may not listen to, but our children will certainly watch what we do. Yes. So please, my brothers and sisters, be very mindful of what we do um, in front of our children, because that is the model that they would truly follow. Brother Andrew, come to a reason. Jeez, brother, brother, I, 
Brother, you don't understand. I'm not even asked your question yet. If you could ever see the chat line, brother, just seeing you and hearing your words, you've blown up the chat line already, my king. Just by seeing you. Just by that. seeing you, my king. I guarantee you, 99% of the public on this platform have never seen a, 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 a true roster, a I'm true, trying. true roster as a no, head teacher in the main, in the main education. Now, brother, the, 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 the question I need to ask you, which is on everyone's mind, big man, how yes, did you right. get to the top of the, of the ladder there, Bridget? How was a roster man? Did okay. you make it to the top of the ladder? So let's first and foremost, we give our praise to the Almighty Aija, yeah, once again. That's the far right. Yeah, because nothing don't happen without the plan of the Almighty. Cheers. Yeah? And you hear me, I call upon Rastafari name. But we now fight down a man who follow the Islamic faith, the Christian faith. I was speaking Come to on. Brother Andrew again. In order to make progress, we have to have a spiritual connection. We have to have a spiritual connection. Yeah. And so the Almighty sends ones and ones as physical angels. Yeah. So, Brother Andrew is an angel for me. Yeah. People might fight down this talk, and we have angels who come along the way. But what happened as a physical thing, I try and keep it short, my brother Andrew is. Yes, my king. Is that I didn't start off work in education straight from, from university. I, I lived a blue collar life. So I worked as a, a, a work for pastoral force. So I was a blue collar guy, a working class guy and proud yes. of it. Yes. So 18 to 30, I worked for pastoral force and did other things, you know, with us as a, with our entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial yes. spirit. We were putting yes. on dances, we were taking garments, we travel to Africa, we bring back garments to sell, we go to America. We're trying. That's what we like as young people. Yes, King. I got to the age of 30 and um, I was offered redundancy at Parcel Force. Didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I was going to leave that. I was going to do something different, yeah? Yes. And so when I took the redundancy, I was at home, I was able to do different things. And one of those things I could do was take my children to school the morning. Yes. And my third of four children said, oh, dad, can you stay at nursery? Can you stay at nursery? So I looked at the teacher. The teacher said, no problem. I stayed at the nursery for the day, enjoyed the day. Um, I think I came back in another day as well. And then to be honest with you, I was looking around and I was seeing people performing a role called a learning support assistant. And yes. I thought, hang on, if they can do that, I can do that too. And as we know, you quoted Marcus earlier on, you have to have confidence in yourself. He without confidence is twice defeating the race of life. So I was confident yes. I could do the role. In spite of the fact that I left school with any, without any qualifications, I must say that, yeah? I left yes. second school without any qualifications. But still yet, during that developmental era from, I don't know, 14 to 28, let's say that era, yeah, we work in chunks yes. of seven, but from 14 through to 28, we were always reading, researching, Marcus, His Majesty, so on and so forth, yeah? So we had confidence in our knowledge and ability, although we didn't have qualifications. So I said to the lady, "Could you know, is there any jobs going? And believe it or not, she looked me in my eye and she said, I've got the boy for you. I've got the boy for you. There's a young boy who's climbing drain pipes, um, doing all kinds of things. And um, I started to work with him as an LSA. And um, let me just pick up this young man. See that next little young soldier? How you doing, yeah? Just say hello to the world. We're just doing an in little interview. So, <laughs> brother, man, tough love, yeah? Yes, tough King. Love. Yes, see King. All them young people there? See all them young people there? Yes, King. So, like, I represent, you can see them in my Adidas tracksuit and so on and so forth. You see them young people? And there's a whole heap more. And yes. some big people. All them people don't stop love it, Bridget, when I showed them that I'm a head teacher because they just don't expect the vernacular, the energy. Yes. But I'll come back to you. So I started working as an LSA, um, learning support assistant. In that particular school, I tried to get the head teacher to support me to become a learning mentor. She was very resistant. I said, okay, look, don't think I'm threatening you, but I will be, jobless this, I will be um, looking for another job. Eventually I found another job. Um, and then she says, well, I matched the money. So I then became a, a, a learning mentor um, at a school called Seabright. And you talk about individuals. So individual angels, a lady yeah. by the name of Janice Thomas. No Let me just pick up another sister. Bless you. I'm on an interview. Just wave and say hi. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. No, no. I'm going to catch <laughs> Networking and love, 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 and more love. So Mrs. Janice Thomas was the lady who, at the time, I said to her, look, um, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher because in my first school, somebody gave me a flyer to return to education. I'm going to start walking back here, brother. I hope that's okay yes. with you. 
Yes. Um, gave me a flyer to return to education. So I, I applied for the role. It's like a new beginnings. What do you call these things here? A little course, access course is what we used to call it back in the day. Yes. Um, and then one of the sweetest things, and I think I said this to you, Brother Mohammed, is that when I went to pick up the certificate, what they said was, um, yes, we'd be very glad to give you your certificate. However, what you have to do is you'll have to enroll on a degree program. Yes. What are one of the best things that ever happened to me. So I went and looked on the board what, what degree uh, modules were on offer, and I took up a psychology degree. Started doing it part-time. Ironically, it was funded by the EU. So I started to study again part-time of an evening, Tuesday and Thursday. And I'll give you a little funny story, Brother Andrew. At that time, I'd taken a significant drop in income compared to what I was used to get. Yes. And one day, I'm out of work, my car was clamped up, I didn't have any tax. And I didn't have any money. Yeah, there was food in the cupboard, petrol in the car, but no money in my pocket. Everybody was good, but there's no cash. Mm. And so I started to walk, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to walk to uni. I started to walk, and for those of you who reside in Hackney, there's a large expanse of greenery called Hackney Marshes. Very yes. large, large expanse of football pitches in the, in the UK, I think. And I started to walk across the marshes. The, the sky, you see like how the sky is nice behind me now? Yeah. My journey started like that, and then it got dark. The clouds became black. Thunder, lightning, hailstones licked me. And I said, boy, am I going to walk or am I going to go back home? The four-year course that was like in, 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 in season one, semester one. I um, carried on walking forward and I personally believe that that was the day I passed my degree, even though it was my first year. So took the degree. Um, I went for an interview at Seabright as a learning mentor to get that, that post that I was after. Yes. Uh, and the lady gave it to me, Mrs. Janice Thomas. And I said to her, I'm thinking of becoming a teacher in the future. Is that something that you would endorse? Yes, I would, Greg. Um, completed my degree. Um, and I then took something called a graduate teacher program. So I took my, my, my degree, did one year's training. So I'd be at school four days a week, one day at uni, do the graduate teacher program, became a qualified teacher in the year 2010. Look at that. So I then served at Seabright for two years as a teacher. And then Mrs. Janice Thomas, Janice, she said, look, Gregory, I've been asked to take over a school called Daubeny. Would you like to come over? And I said, you know what? Why not? A change? Of, of people see me in a different role, et cetera. So I went over to Daubeny. Um, I started off as what they call a phase leader, a year six teacher, phase leader, and literacy coordinator. That was in 2012, just after the Olympics, September 2012. I then, um, two years later, became an assistant head teacher in 2014. And then in 2016, I was a, well, I was very, um, the head teacher was leaving, and the executive head teacher, Janice, was like, Greg, are you going to apply? Are you going to apply? Are you going to apply? And generally, I'm very confident in what I'm going to do, and I pre pretty much make up my mind quickly. This was one of the yes. most longest, most prolonged decisions. But eventually, I applied for the post. I was successful, um, and I was appointed head teacher at um, Daubeny Primary School in June 2016. And by the will of the Almighty, from that time to this time, I've been fulfilling that post. And if you think about education over the last two, three years or so, I think I've circumnavigated one of the most challenging um, periods in education here in the UK from its inception in around 1884, when education became compulsory for all ch um, children in the UK. So that's been my journey so far, Brother Andrew. Come on, brothers uh, and sisters. Brothers and sisters, we're looking at a man who's on a mission. Come on, man. Brother, they're still dropping ones. If you're feeling my king, this ain't no... Look, look at the brother, man. Look at the brother representing our community, representing Ja. Look at our king, man. Yeah, um, your, think... brother, your brother, your brother. And the yes. beautiful thing is, I was even reasoning reason with people today. The job of a leader is to create more leaders. So we create young leaders at school. Come on. But also it's about empowering and encouraging and inspiring my brothers and sisters, even if it's not education, um, to do their best and persevere and really expand our, our knowledge. My mother came to the UK in the 60s, like many of us of my generation, and we, were, we, we weren't acquainted with many of the options or the opportunities that were available to us here. In fact, we had to forsake a lot of those opportunities because of racism, to be quite frank. But now our children, have the opportunity to be neurosurgeons, plastic surgeons, lawyers, doctors, 
um, writers, the, 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 the world is their oyster and they've got to take it, be confident with themselves. I'm going back to Marcus again and, and make the change they want to see in the world. It's a great, yeah, great awesome. opportunity. Um, and for me, it's just a blessing just to be here, Brother Andrew, with yourself. I mean, look at the platform, the technology that we have yes. now to have our stories. And in some ways, I wish, I'm saying a bit like this, it might be better light. I wish that when I was in my teenage years, in my 20s, I had a platform like this, where I, as an entrepreneur, I, used, I saw you promoting some travel businesses. Wow, in my 20s, I wish I had the opportunity to start a travel business. Maybe I wouldn't be educated today, but they are my band. So I'm here to play my role and support young people and support my brothers and sisters in whatever they but I know one of the things you wanted to talk about, my brother, was um, in terms of the, the strip searches of children in schools. Well, no, but brother, I don't, I don't need to go there yet today. Today, That's all right. That's no, all right. no, 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 because brother, I'm being. If it's okay with you, my brother. Yes, yes. Can you? We're going to do a whole show on this, and you're going to see that I'm not joking on this, but we're going to deal with a proper community response to this today. I wanted them just to see you, King. Well, I wouldn't. That's my. And, and, that's my pleasure, brother. My pleasure. And, and already, brother, please, if you get a time, I know you're out. Check out the chat, brother. Check out the chat, please. You've got to understand what you just been on this platform for the last five, ten minutes has done to people's lives, brother. Yeah? Like, it's a bridge. And you know the joke about it is something I chat with my queen about quite often is that at one point we were the inspired and now we are the inspirers, but we don't even know who we're inspiring. That's the power of this thing, my brother. That's the power, my king. Yeah. So what I say to ones and ones, especially our youngsters, yeah? I'm chatting to yes. you now as a middle-aged, and that phrase still sounds strange to me. A middle-aged man, my spirit is still, I don't know, 21, 22, but I'm a middle-aged yes. man. And I say to my youngsters, the youngsters watching this in their 20s, those conscious young men, those conscious young ladies, who yes. maybe haven't even families, please, please, please dedicate yourself to Hi. lifelong learning, self-improvement, self-love. Teach! Say that again. Self love, yeah, love, love yeah. yourself. If you don't love yourself, don't go looking for love from nobody else. Don't Teach. go looking to bring no other humans in Rust this the earth when you can't love yourself. Rust love the mind. Teach. Yeah. Because Come on, my big brother, so, so much of our wants and needs, especially coming from where we're coming from, and we're coming from such a disadvantaged position in the world yes. that we've got to be strong before we start to bring a next generation, because we're just going to just load them up with problems, worries, <laughs> trials and tribulations, my brother. Come on. And this life, this life is a beautiful life. Like I said, I was here doing a bit of um, filming today. Today, this was an experience for me, yeah? Yes. But it allowed me an opportunity to link with human beings, the riches, the riches, true riches. We talk about, especially as youngsters, I talk about entrepreneurial yes. things. As I get older, why I humble that? that, that. Yes. Brother, that's a blessing, John, yeah? It's... It's, uh, we don't we don't need we don't need to run down material things. We recognise that our riches is my queen, my oh, riches, my children, my riches, family. That's my riches. So once we have our true needs, housing, food, shelter, what more do I really really want? And why am I going to spend so much energy following another man's concept of money? This paper, this digitised thing that they do. So. My young people, really focus, love yourself. Don't love money. They say the root of all evil, the root of all evil is the love of money. Don't love money. It's a tool, just like any other tool. Use it, but use it well, please, my brothers and sisters. Oh, King, brothers and sisters, ja, that's all I'm going to say. Finish off the sentence for me. Ja, in the right. chat room. Right. In the chat room. I'm just saying, ja, after listening to this, King, you understand why I love working at this brother's school? You gotta understand when I when I entered, I saw the spirit of Ja in the hallway, in the classrooms, amongst the teachers. Jeez, come on, brother Greg, please look at that chat room, please if you get a chance, brother. You don't know what you've done to hundreds of people here tonight, brother. Hundreds of people. It, the energy brother, and the beauty. Did you see the energy? Is that I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing, no, I'm doing an interview. It's not wifey. It's not wifey. Ladies, <laughs> 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 yeah. All and right, the, listen. Even from a human point of view, chatting to all those ladies, it's just recognising and getting that energy, man. So even speaking to you, when I go home tonight, I'm going to have to pause, reflect and think to myself, well, firstly, give thanks and praises. Thanks and praises, so, King. Think to myself, yeah. right, yeah. What are you all right, to do next? Bless yeah. up. We're, we're looking to have part two with you, my King. We go more Definitely. deeper into what Definitely. we're talking 100%. about. Definitely, 100%. And I know today we're, you're up. getting a lot of energy. 
But hopefully you're feeling the love, if nothing Every else. Every time. And Every love. time. Yeah? And like Marcus say, I'm sticking with Marcus. He's, it's his month, yeah? Yes. One love, one aim, one, one destiny. destiny. And what we say? Sisters. One God. Yeah? Come on. One Come God. On. Yeah? My mother called me son. My wife called me husband. My children call me daddy. But I'm the one man. Come on. Say no more, brothers, yeah? Would... Brothers and sisters, brother Gregory. Logan, literally the one of the greatest head teachers in the UK, maybe around the world, to be honest with you, man, because the brother is committed to the liberation and salvation, not just of black children, of all children, giving them all opportunities, make sure that all become leaders. This is just a, a little shot of his school, brothers and sisters. Brother, one love. Brother, 